This is Live Well Talk on COVID-19. I'm Dr. Dustin Arnold, Chief Medical Officer at Unity Point Health, St. Luke's Hospital. Today's weekly COVID update is being broadcast at 9 a.m. on Friday, April 24th. This is the week that we anticipate the surge to begin, perhaps not peak, which the predicted peak right now is May 4th. Lynn County has had 507 cases and 37 deaths. Uh, This does skew or or, uh, manipulate the numbers slightly because there's a significant percentage related to nursing homes and meatpacking plants. We are starting to see an increase in the number of people being admitted to the hospital for un- or non-COVID related reasons. And my concern is that people are not coming to the hospital when they should for fear of COVID-19. And we'll have some upcoming a podcast as well as a Facebook uh, a presentation of why you should continue to go to the physician when you ha- feel ill or uh, have a chronic medical condition because those chronic medical conditions haven't gone away during the COVID pandemic. They're still present and my concern is that we'll have a peak uh, related to the COVID uh, admissions as well as a peak related to chronic medical conditions that have been neglected for six weeks. And that could obviously put a strain on resources. But at this time, our resources are in a good position. Our uh, personal protective equipment is uh, with the delivery of some uh, ISO gowns or isolation gowns the day before. We were at a good spot there. Our critical care capacity is what we call green status, meaning there's plenty of capacity as well as the blood supply. Testing for COVID-19 is expanded. The Test Iowa initiative through the state, which I don't have a lot of information on, is is being rolled out, which I think is a positive. And as I said earlier, or I believed at the beginning of the pandemic, that testing wasn't that big of concern to me because we would just treat patients clinically. But I've come to appreciate that how testing can help us cohort patients that are positive or, or negative, as well as identifying patients early that perhaps are negative to save on the personal protective equipment that our staff would empirically wear uh, for, for that uh, when they uh, take care of those patients until that test returned negative. Plans are being made at this time uh, to return to some degree of normalcy as far as the operating room schedule. Uh, I look to that to come in phases with perhaps cases that don't require general anesthesia and then subsequently outpatient surgery and then back to a full schedule. Uh, optimistically, I hope that happens. We're back to business as usual sometime in June, but that may be, uh, but that is cautiously optimistic. Bottom line is clear minds, quick hands, and practice the three C's. We can get through this pandemic and we'll be stronger afterwards. Uh, because we've gone from having scrambles to certain uh, issues and items to blueprints. For the most up-to-date information on COVID-19, visit our website at unionpoint.org or the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention website at cdc.gov. If you have a topic you'd like to suggest for the COVID-19 pandemic, please uh, uh, shoot us an email at stlukescr at unionpoint.org. In the meantime, wash your hands, cover your cough, and confine yourself if you're ill and uh, practice social distancing.